on the penalty. I think it's the first one since the Euros in 2016, and I think Stephen has, has talked about that the fact that Ireland don't really win penalties anymore. Yeah, he actually has touched on it before, so um, yeah, to get it, it was brilliant. Um, yeah, it's a long time to go without a, without a penalty, so hopefully, there we start getting a few more. Owen? Yeah, it was always a long term goal of mine. Um just had to keep working hard and um hopefully do it at club level and see where that took me and yeah, like if I if you told me that I started here I'd be here now I probably would have would have laughed or whatever, but um no I always had that determination to try and go as far as I can. So um yeah, it's gone well this year, so hopefully you can keep continuing and just keep working hard. <coughs> Um, well, it was only my first time being in the group in June, and um, everybody was unbelievable welcoming me in. All the senior boys, I can't talk highly enough of them. And um, even when I made my debut in Portugal, all the boys just constantly in my ear. So it's a great group to be coming into, and um, yeah, just ever since I've been involved, I've loved every minute of it. And um, yeah, I think myself, a few others have been brought into the squad, and I think we're getting more comfortable now. And, Obviously, after a camp or two, you'll get to know how things work better and um, form more relationships. So, um, yeah, I think it's doing well. Do you think you could have more players like yourself who are maybe not at the most fashionable clubs in the world who well, shouldn't be overlooked? I know, definitely. And it's probably been the talk for, for years now. People at, especially at Ireland level, um, could, can make a step up. And Jack Byrne has proved that. And um, a few others have been quite unlucky. So, um, that's the thing with the gaffer, I don't think he, he cares who you play for as long as you're doing well, and um, he'll give you a chance. Jamie? Jamie, I mean, you very nearly chopped Portugal in the first year. I mean, with the, the platform you've given yourselves in this last week or so, you can really have a go at them next month. Yeah, it's, we haven't really touched on it yet. Um, all focus was in this week and um, getting two good results, and um, thankfully we've done that. And, yeah, it's a quick turnaround now. It's only three weeks away, I think the gaffer was saying. So, um, yeah, we can only take belief and confidence from the two victories, of course. And, um, yeah, we, we were very unlucky out there. And like I said, we can take belief from that. And, um, yeah, we'll, def we'll definitely have a game plan going in. And if we stay here, we, it won't set us wrong. One of the issues for Ireland over the last three four years has been the lack of goals. Just to score 72 games, that must give you as a group a lot of belief. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know tonight <coughs> was a friendly, but um, the gaffer touched on it that Argentina, you got them 1-0 in the uh, Copa America. So, um, yeah, and I think they're ranked above us as well. So it's not an easy match. Um, we didn't treat it like a friendly, and I don't think they did either. So, um, and to go out to Baku and score, score as many as we did, not many teams do that. So, yeah, like I said, it only draw confidence from people getting on the score sheet, Callum as well. So, um, no, it's been a great week. Dan? Um, Jamie, uh, the manager, or sorry, Callum spoke on Saturday about the freedom that, that Stephen had given him. Can, can you just speak about what his instructions are to you, for example, before tonight, and what he was asking of you? Because you did seem to have the freedom yourself to maybe roam around a bit and pick up the ball. Yeah, it's very specific on the training agreement that, that we work, that what we worked on, um, especially since uh, the summer when I came in. So um, the coaches here are very detailed, Keith and Anthony. They have it down to a T what they expect from you. So, um, but yeah, in saying that, they're not we're not rigid. Uh, you want us kind of interchange, and if it's on, so if I see Callum maybe pulling out wide, I'll drift in, or if Chio is out wide, I'll drift in. So, um, yeah, as as an attacking player, like I said, that fluidity is is nice, and you're not just rigid and stiff. So, yeah, and like there's obviously a lot of talk about Callum scoring five goals in two games. Can you just speak about his qualities, like? What, what, what type of sort of strike partner is he maybe compared to other players you've played with? Yeah, he's, he's um, first of all, he's an outstanding finisher and, and top class guy as well. Um, since I've met up with him, he's been nothing but breath of fresh air and he's great to have in the dressing room. So, um, obviously, he shows his quality tonight with his strikes and um, what was it, Saturday as well. So, um, yeah, he's he's a top player and um, hopefully he can keep keep bagging him in for us. Sure. Mark McCann? Was there any chance of you taking that penalty tonight? <laughs> I had a brief discussion with Cal, but uh, he was on a mission, so I didn't want to stop him. So um, no, but thankfully he went in. So.
Yeah. That's all you want. You're fairly fancy yourself now with your record. Yeah, I scored a good few last season, a few this season, so um, yeah, hopefully I'll get the chance in the future, but I can't take it off, Cal, he's, he's in flying form, so. Paul Fennessy? Uh, maybe it's, we kind of touched on already, had a kind of a circuitous route to the top, um, were there ever any days where you kind of doubted yourself, or were you always confident that you would get to this level eventually? Uh, like I said, it was a long-term dream, so... Um, I probably wouldn't expect it to happen this quick. Um, when I got the nod in, in the summer, I was over the moon, and I just my aim was to try and stay in the squad. And lucky enough, I've done that. And um, but yeah, if like I said, if you told me this a year ago, I probably would have been like probably too soon. But um, I was always determined to try and go as far as I can. And um, thankfully, it's happened sooner than I expected. Are there any figures in particular that you sort of attribute to or part of your success to? Uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, just especially last lockdown I put a lot of hard work in I uh, came home for three months and um, yeah I worked my socks off tirelessly so it's nice to get the rewards and um, yeah hopefully this is only the start I want to try to keep working hard and not lose my place in the, in the squad so um, obviously you need a bit of luck with that as well and injuries so but well, fingers crossed now. Dave Donnelly? Uh, just one quick one from me um, how do you find the position because I know uh, probably that club rooms used to play in the middle of Yeah, it's a different shape that we play at club level. Um, but like I said, the coaches have been excellent. Um, they they tell you to the detail what they expect from you, and, and it's your roles and responsibilities are very clear. So um, I'm not playing as an out and out winger, so that suits me as well. I have the freedom to come in and join join in if I want. So um, no, I really really enjoy that position. And Fitzmaurice, yeah. Jamie, just for seventy dollars a couple of years ago, you would have played against each other. Probably the Marcus Field might have been the last time you played against each other. Just the journey you two, the two of you come on, and the message is both to other players in terms of what, what you can achieve or, or where hard work can get you. Yeah, it just proves that, like, probably a few months of, of your career can be, can change it all. If really, if you hit a bit of form and get a bit of luck, it just shows you it can be a quick turnaround in football. Like, um, so yeah, I probably would have played against him. I don't know, maybe three seasons ago now. So uh, it's great to be part. Of, sharing that journey with him now and um, yeah we got on very well together as well so it's uh, great to see him doing well as well. And we'll live with Paul Ryan. Uh, Jamie, hi, if I'm not mistaken, you're, you're five games unbeaten with St Mirren, is that right? The last five games? Yeah, last five, yeah. Yeah, um, can you just um, tell us a bit about uh, that, because there was some suggestion you might move on during the summer, was it ever going to happen? And and what's, what's this, just give us a sense of how that season's shaping up for you in Scotland. Yeah, we've fifth form recently, and um, we've two big wins in the bounce now, and um, yeah, we're five unbeaten, so we have a tough trip now, and when I get back, we have Ross County away on Saturday, so a uh, quick turnaround, uh, we travel up Friday, so we'll be going there with the intention to get the three points again and keep our own going, but um, yeah, with regards to moving on or whatever, uh, no, I'm happy where I am, and uh, I have a year left in my contract, I'll, up until next summer, so um, yeah, see what happens. But I love every minute there, and it's a great bunch. So, and the gaffers were brilliant for me there as well. So, and I can't speak really high, highly enough. Of that. I understand you were um, generous enough to to um, to bring a lot of Ireland fans uh, for a tour around Glasgow recently. Was it you met on, the, on, the, on an aircraft? Was that really relevant? Rings a few. That was pretty decent. You don't normally see footballers doing things like that. Tell us a bit about that, will you? Yeah, so on my way back on the last international trip, um, met a few the boy, a few lads, um, they recognised me and uh, got chatting to them and that, and they said they were going to a music festival um, on the Sunday, so they said they'd a spare ticket if I wanted to come, but little did I know, my girlfriend actually had a ticket for the Sunday as well, so I ended up going going to the gig and I met them there and um, we had a bit of crack, so uh, it's nice nice to share that with the, with the boys, they were sound fellas, so it's good. Thank you very much.